Yo, what's up? Prince Sports here. Um, I want to talk about Jason Whitlock. All right, um, Mr. AKA Foolery, cooning again. All right, um, he went out of his way to try to slam LeBron James for sticking up for Ahmad Arbery. Now you don't know who Ahmad Arbery is. He's a guy that was gunned down, killed in Georgia, um, while jogging. Okay, he was killed by um, two guys. You know, happened to be white. And they, um, you know, shot this guy, killed him as he was jogging through a park, you know, for no apparent reason. Um, and two months later, they got off with his murder. So LeBron goes to social media and talks about it. And we all know LeBron's always been like this. He's always been talking about social media uh, things and things that take place in certain communities. And... Um, and um, injustice things. So Jason Whitlock goes on his social media outlet and says LeBron James is clout chasing. He's looking to one up on Michael Jordan in the social justice department. Man, shut the hell up with that bullshit. You know damn well a guy like LeBron James, a rich man, okay, a guy that has his own family and kids, could care less about what Michael Jordan is doing on an everyday basis, okay? This guy is getting ready to um, get ready for this new season coming up and uh, taking care of his family. He care less about um, Michael Jordan's activities or who you think is the best. Okay, um, you guys, some of the, some of these people like Jason Whitlock, Skip Bayless, these guys are nut jobs, man. They they really believe guys other than themselves focus on these people 24-7, you know? I doubt LeBron James is going about his everyday life wondering what Michael Jordan is doing, uh, what Michael ate for breakfast, what he ate for lunch. I better one-up on him. Man, why would that guy care about that dude like that, man? I mean, you guys are going way overboard with this nonsense, man. Everything the brother do, you guys criticize and say it has a deeper meaning to it. The motherfucker been doing social, um, social justice issues. He been talking about stuff like that. That's the, from the cloth that he cut from, man. You know, cut, cut the bullshit, Jason Whitlock. You're a clown. You're another one of those media clowns that I like going at because you're another junkie. You know, this, this guy ain't got nothing to do but sit in his house and eat McDonald's and Burger King and go on social media and start talking about somebody. Who are you to say LeBron James is clout chasing? Motherfucker, you clout chasing. You the one that got on social media trying to slam LeBron James for nothing. Come on, man. Really? Really? Over a, a, a issue that took place. Um, that's a serious issue, I might add. You know? Because you see countless things like this happen towards a lot of people. You know? It's not just people of color. Um, you know, it's people all around the world that become victim of senseless crimes. You know? But way too often you hear about um, senseless crimes committed on people of color a lot, you know, or at least those get broadcasted a lot. But at least LeBron James is not being naive about it. You know, you and your fucking coonery, you know, it's guys like you and Michael Jordan and guys that don't give a rat's ass about certain people in certain communities that you think is okay to go at a guy that actually showing some, some um, awareness of what goes on in certain communities, okay? Just because you can't rock in the hood, and just because people don't like you, don't give you the right to be all super conservative and talk different about other people. You're a nut job and you're a clown. You know, this guy is the very definition of what you want to call a sellout. And I hate to call another guy this, especially another brother, but that guy is the definition of an Uncle Tom and a coon. No, this guy's a dumbass, man. I mean, if you guys actually go on TV and you watch, you watch this guy say the most idiotic, dumb shit that you could possibly come up with. You know, him and uh, he goes on that show with um, what's that dude? Um, the football player. Um, oh, I forgot his name. Um, but yeah, he's from LA. You know, the the football player that's from LA. He all right. I mean. 
he he's all right. He's okay, brother. You know what I mean? Um, he from Compton. He talk about um, all types of sports. He has a different opinion from me, but at the same time, oh, um, um, I think it's Marcus Wally, Mar Marcellus, Marcellus Wally. So um, yeah, so. I don't got a problem with him. I mean, I disagree with some of his points that he make because you know, he comes off a bit biased for the Clippers or whatever. But other than that, I'm cool with the dude. I mean, he ain't got no, I got no problem with uh, Marcellus Wally. You know what I mean? He's, he's a right. You know, he ain't no sellout. I give you that much. You know, and he do speak on social um, issues and stuff like that too. You know, he don't sit around, you know, trying to be super Republican or super conservative like some of, some of these other people. All right? It's okay to be black and be a Republican. I'm not telling that, I'm saying that's um, what you, you don't have a right to do that. You could do that, but at the same time, don't be fucking blind to what goes on in, in certain communities as if you don't know, you know? Stop being stupid, Jason Whitlock. Get a brain and stop trying to degrade people and looking for cloud chasing. You're a nut job.